when we studied electrolytes we classified strong acids as strong electrolytes and we showed the reaction how those acids when dissolved in water they completely disassociate to make strong electrolytes similarly we classified compounds bases exactly as strong bases if they completely disassociated and we showed complete disassociation by writing this right pointing arrow virtually all of it uh, disassociates to give you the components on the right but we also saw that there are weak electrolytes as well by the way these are your strong acids seven of one two three four five six these are generally classified as strong acid there is one more acid that's not on this list is called HClO3 uh, it's called chloric acid which is also classified as strong acid and here are some strong bases now weak acids on the other hand are compounds which do not completely disassociate one of the examples was acidic acid found in vinegar we know that it's a weak acid because you can see the reversible arrow here disassociation is not complete another example is carbonic acid that found in your blood it disassociates to give you sodium I mean, uh, just hydrogen bicarbonate and H3O plus however its disassociation is not complete so these are examples of weak acids which are weak electrolytes here are some examples of weak bases which are also weak electrolytes ammonia pyridine aniline all of these three compounds they act as Bronsted bases and they act Bronsted Lowry bases and they accept H plus from water which acts as an acid but the reaction doesn't go to completion you arrive at some equilibrium situation so we have strong acids and strong bases we have weak acids and weak bases and whenever we have the reversible arrow we know that we have a situation where we have a weak acid or a weak base so when we don't have a reversible arrow we know it's a strong acid such as HCl but there is a way of comparing one acid to another and that's in how much disassociation an acid undergoes uh, we will not go much deep into it but here is a table that shows how one acid is compared to the other on the pink here we have the acid strength or the red or pink part we have the acid strength with the strongest acid on the top and the weakest on the bottom so when we classify these compounds as acids what we are saying is that when dissolved in water they will donate H plus so HCl forms H plus and Cl minus H2SO4 forms H plus and HSO4 minus HNO3 forms H plus NO3 minus and so on and when they form the anion the other part on the right side you would have for example HCl forming chloride ion chloride ion would be the conjugate base of this acid this is the acid this is the conjugate base this is the acid this is the conjugate base and so on notice what's going on not only are we classifying uh, the acids among themselves as which one is the strongest of the list given here but you can see that when you have a very strong acid the corresponding conjugate base is a weak base and because the strongest bases are on the bottom meaning that the acid strength and the base strength are on the uh, opposite spectrum when an acid is strong the base is weak its conjugate base is weak when a uh, acid is weak its conjugate base is very strong so this is how we classify acid base strength now here is a question for practice identify the conjugate acid base pairs write a chemical equation reaction for the following acids or bases in water so take a moment pause the video and write down the equations for the reactions of these four compounds in water and uh, see what happens okay. and then uh, play the video as I as we go over this so HF HF when you dissolve it in water it will form H3O plus and F minus H3O plus and H2O will be the conjugate acid base pair 
and F minus and H plus or H plus F minus are the conjugate acid base pairs. What about H2S? H2S when you dissolve it in water it acts as an acid so it's going to donate H plus to H2O. Once again H3O plus on the right and H2O on the left are the conjugate acid base pairs and H2S on the left and HS minus on the right are the conjugate acid base pairs. HNO3 when you dissolve it in water it will act as an acid and it will turn into a NO3 minus on the right donating H plus to water. So once again H2, H3O plus and H2O are the conjugate acid base pairs H3O plus on the right and H2O on the left and HNO3 on the left and NO3 minus on the right are the conjugate acid base pairs. Finally you have a weak base. When you dissolve this in water it's actually going to accept an H plus from water. So then H2O on the left and OH minus on the right are your conjugate acid base pairs while CH3 NH3 plus on the right and CH3 NH2 on the left are your other conjugate acid base pairs.